super dull session here in Europe. Just fluffing around. I don't know what the hell is wrong with London. They're just dead. Uh, house passed a spending bill about a half hour ago. Nothing happened. We're just waiting for these yen crosses. Dollar yen is hovering here just around the figure 109.10. Euro yen's been up to 30, but now it's back at. Sorry, Euro yen has been up to 16, and now it's back at 74. Uh, we're kind of waiting for the moment to see if we're going to attack this 133 level today. If you look at it on the bigger picture, you'll see what I mean. I can't get no sleep. Through there should be trouble. Uh, I know we talked about this uh, at the European Open, but we're talking about it again. Aussie Yen, same thing. Keep in mind, these could be the range lows as well. So pre trading this is a bit dicey. Because this is, you know, the second touch on a maybe massive double bottom. So we're not like piling into shorts heading into these levels. We're waiting for the uh, S&Ps to give us a signal see if there's any fear in the air, in the New York City air. Um, so we're just kind of waiting patiently here. Sterling Yen as well. Uh, big engulfer there yesterday. We like selling through those lows today. Just on the add to the misery type of trade. This is if equities are plunging, which at the moment they are not. 26.12 is the S&P. It's up a cool, I don't know, 35 handles from the close last night, which was uh, 2577. We'll just have to see. What can I say? It's Friday. We're kind of excited to trade, but you gotta, you got to refrain from just trading on excitement and wait for the price to dictate action. Right now, price is saying, don't do anything. Wait, wait, wait. Patience, patience, patience. So we will be patient. Uh, we do have CAD employment today. So CAD's going to move. I don't really know what to do with the CAD. This looks like sort of a trap break up here. We got these overhangs. Uh, but you know, it's, it's a binary situation. If, if Canada beats massively, um, our CAD goes lower. And if the unemployment changes way less, dollar CAD goes higher. Same thing for CAD yen, CAD Swiss, Euro CAD. We're not going to screw around with the CAD numbers today. We got um, all of our energy and all of our focus on the yen side of things and on the S&P mini side of things. This is where we feel like you're going to be get, getting paid the most these days. So... Let's look at this dollar yen real quick. Same as same thing as this morning. Did not make a new high today so far. We went up to 30. Now we're at 12. Really just doing nothing. We are waiting, waiting, waiting. Two trend lines here. Through 50 and then through the figure. The figure trend line is very, 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 very important. Uh, it's a six-year trend line. And so we're keeping a very, very close eye on that. Euro dollar and cable, nothing today. Just floating around like Muppets. You know, not really much to say there. You could argue that uh, cable's at risk through 138.40 now, these lows here. After this sort of false dawn, Bank of England's going to hike. Yeah, right. Um, just as if Brexit's about to dissolve and global equity markets are going to get destroyed. Sure. Go ahead, hike, guys. I don't think the market's going to believe them. They're going to be skeptical, as am I. All the longs from yesterday will have to puke through these levels, so this will probably attract. And this might be, uh, you know, sterling yen as well through the lows, which is going to be quite, uh, quite touchy. Cryptos. Pretty quiet. 8,200. Bitcoin seems just kind of tired. I kind of feel like we've put in an important low here. Just my instinct. 
no real basis on that. Uh, I haven't seen the flows, or I really don't know what's going on flow-wise, but this would be a good place for Bitcoin to stop. From 20,000 down to basically 6,000. Um, and we'll see this base build and then some moves higher, I think, in the coming weeks. So sit tight, same strategy. Not much to say except for we are watching these levels and we are watching S&Ps and we're watching to see if there's fear at the New York Stock Exchange today. I wish you guys good luck. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Ciao.